Good morning, everyone. As you guys can probably tell or maybe just hear from my voice, I am pretty hungover right now and I feel like crap. But it's okay because we're going to be covering some PSO2 content as usual since I promised you guys daily uploads. But if I do sound a little bit, uh, well, now you guys know the reason. But anyway, today I'm going to be talking about some possible changes that I would love to see coming with the Retem update in uh, December 15. As we know, the Retem update is pretty soon. You know, it's uh, pretty much like three weeks away, two and a half weeks away or something. It's very, very close. And I know a lot of you guys, myself included, are just dying inside because we're like, can we just get the Retem update today? Can time go faster? Can it be December 15 already? But uh, no, it's not December 15 yet. Time is going awfully slow for me right now because I'm hungover. But before I roll my intro, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. Okay, there's a couple things that I would love to see in the new Retem update. First of all, as we all know, is of course a better gameplay loop. So, you know, maybe we get some crafting systems or some augmenting systems or some sort of system that rewards us for playing more. Um, the augmenting system that I suggested on my stream, by the way, I do live stream on Twitch sometimes. Uh, my internet is very on and off. But the thing that I suggested that a lot of chat really liked was, let's say you get two copies of the same weapon that do not have a fixa. You can fuse them together and you get a fixa one attack or fix a one something maybe it's rng maybe it just rolls a random fix a one of like whatever it could be fatal it could be attack it could be whatever and um that way you can slowly progress your weapons so let's say that you have a katana that you really like you get two copies of it fuse it together maybe you get lucky you get a fix a attack one right then you get another copy of a fix attack one of the same katana you fuse them together and boom they become fix attack level two and you keep fusing them, fusing them, fusing them until eventually you do get a fixa attack level 5 or a fixa whatever level 5 that you want. And that way it would give people a lot more incentive to grind for multiple copies of the same weapon. And it'll feel less like a casino where you're just grinding endlessly, hoping and praying to hit that one jackpot where you get the fixa 5 immediately. And it'll feel more rewarding that, hey, I'm playing the game even though I'm investing all this time, but at least I'm guaranteed something for the time that I'm investing into NGS. And that would be a really great system in my personal opinion because I think, hey, you know, at least that way, no matter what, the more time you put into the game, you'll be able to see that progress of your character getting stronger. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be just fusing two weapons together or two armors together to get a fixa. You could make it a little bit more difficult if you want to, you know, instead of like maybe to get fixa one, you just need two copies and then fixa two, you need like three copies, four copies, five copies, six copies, whatever. So it adds a little bit more longevity to get a fixa five weapon because you don't want to make it too easy or else everyone's going to like cap out in like a month and then be like, well, there's nothing else to do anymore or probably even in a week. So uh, you probably want to add some layer of complexity there so that it keeps people grinding, keeps people uh, working towards something, right? So that's suggestion one that I would love to see implemented, some sort of upgrade system, some sort of gameplay loop. The second thing that I would love to see is party benefits. So I want the try buffs to come back. So when I grind and I'm playing with my friends and I'm playing with other people in a party, we should be rewarded for playing together because PSO2 and NGS has always been more of a social game, has been more of a casual game. Well, I mean, NGS especially is very, very catered toward the casual audience and not so much to the hardcore audience because uh, if you're a casual player, you're playing like 30 minutes a day, NGS is perfectly fine the way it is. Unfortunately, if you play a little bit more than 30 minutes a day, well then this game kind of runs out of stuff for you to do. But back to the topic at hand, and that is bring back the try buff. So when people play together in base PSO2, you had a 10% EXP boost, a 10% Masetta boost, a 10% rare drop rate boost. If you played with three players, it was very, very nice. I think it actually went up. I think it was 10% for each player that was in your party and it went up to like 40% or something I've, or 30%. I don't remember anymore to be perfectly honest, but there was this tri boost system. So you were always incentivized to play with other players or play in a party. And if they do bring back the tri-boost to the party system, I want them to bring back the beacons, alright? 
Especially on the global server, we are not very social people. We don't like talking to strangers. Just let us put down a beacon next to the Ryuker device where it says, Hey, you want to join a party? Click on the little beacon and you'll join my party. That way, there's less socializing required because we are not social people in the global side. We, we hate talking to strangers, alright? Stranger danger or something along those lines. I forgot the meme. But let us put down those beacons so people can join our party immediately instead of us hunting down people, going up to them, right clicking them, invite to party, blah blah blah. It's too troublesome, right? If you could just put down the beacon, people pop in, they're like, hey, we're gonna grind at Bamford Laboratories. They get there and they're like, oh look, there's a beacon there. Oh, I'm not in a party. Maybe I should join them. Oh, I get the try boost. Oh, I like this. And you know, make life much easier. Now, point number three is a little bit on the gray area because I want trading to be re-enabled in NGS. But I understand that Sega, you guys are fighting against RMT, you know, real money trading is a big deal. I understand, you know, you don't want the boss to be selling Masetta and like blah blah blah. It's totally understandable. So the suggestion I have is linking the trade system with the party system. So let's say for example, I'm grinding Rezzle Forest with my friends, right? If I get any rare drops or if I get any drops during that period while we're in the party, we can trade those items with the players in our party. Let's say that I'm playing with Chrono here, I know he's a bouncer main, boom I suddenly get a fix a 5 attack jet boots. Then I'll be able to give the jet boots to Chrono because I know that he can benefit from the jet boots while I play a braver so I really don't care about the jet boots and I'm not even premium anyway so I can't even sell it on the market. So I feel like by allowing trading between party members, like when the item dropped you were already in the party, that way you can trade that specific item, that would be a great way. But of course, I'm more than happy to expand that maybe to alliance members, like if everyone who's in the alliance for more than, I don't know, one week, you can trade items between alliance members or like friends list or something. Um, obviously, we won't be able to trade Masetta because I know uh, Sega is really, really against the RMT bot. They need some form of protection to fight against RMT or real money trading. I think I didn't mention that. But um, yeah, I would love to see some sort of trading re-enabled into NGS so that when my friends or new people come into the game, you can help them out. You're like, hey, you're a new player, you need some help, no problem, I got you. Let's go grind in zone 1 area, let me help you out with your story quest, blah blah blah. And if I get anything good, here I can funnel all those items so they can progress quickly and catch up. And that way they can do harder content which benefits me and benefits the rest of my alliance and the rest of the community. I feel like that would be a really good incentive because right now with no trading enabled, it's really hard on new players. New players come in, they're like, wow, I really want this fashion piece, but I can't buy it because I don't have Masetta, but I also need to use my Masetta to upgrade my gear because I need to upgrade my gear in order to progress through the story, in order to farm these harder areas. And it really puts new players in a dilemma who are a little bit less patient. It's kind of like, well, the only way the new player can catch up very quickly is if you swipe your credit card, you buy a premium, and you scratch a couple items in the latest scratch and you throw them on the market, then you'll have the Masetta. But, you know, not every player can do that, right? As a veteran free-to-play player, I want to still be able to help out my newer friends which are coming into the game and they're like, wow, NGS is awesome, this game is cool. And I want to have a way to help them out, you know? It's not just like, yeah, you said you gotta spend some money. Yeah, the, you know, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. I, I really don't want that to be the only solution. Okay. Now let me know in the comment section below what other ideas you guys have because my headache is killing me right now and I'm probably gonna go straight back to bed and get more rest because uh, I'm so hungover right now. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel, it really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! What can I say? Up to your welcome for the heels that boosts the rest.